Hey everyone, this is a review for the app DSLR Dashboard, the app which helps you, helps you to work your Android phone or tablets as a field or review monitor. All right, so this one right now, my phone here is hooked up as a field monitor from the camera I'm shooting with. And I have another camera over to my right hand side here which will show you the uh, screen, all right? So I'm gonna take you to my phone screen and we'll see how it goes. All right, now this is how it looks like on the screen when it is recording. Um, like I mentioned before, this is uh, live from my other camera and is recording. Well, when we, if we are starting from the left hand side here, you can see it's recording. That's why the REC rec button, record button is in red color. And this one here is autofocus because I have selected the autofocus mode for my camera. If I, uh, if I change that, I can either go for manual or um, other focus modes. So if I touch that, the whole, whole thing will change. So I'm, not, I'm just leaving these two here alone. Because this one, if I touch this one, the camera icon here will take a picture while the video is running. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave the left hand side here. If you look at the top side here, uh, to the left side, it's uh, giving you the information for the camera. The camera I have hooked up is Nikon D610 through the USB cable with the help of, help of my OTG cable here. You have an option for uh, doing time lapse with Lightroom. That's why that icon is over there. And play button plays you back the you know the files you have captured here. You can also uh, do that with the icon here. I'm on aperture priority mode right now. That's why it's showing the A. Sign if you have, um, if I have chosen the shutter priority, it would have uh, shown you the S sign here. I mean S icon here, and the mo mobile phone I have here is working as a host mode and is on live view, so you can see that. And the BKT stands for bracketing and a bracketing focus. So these two icons are for working the bracketing mode. This is the timer mode here and uh, you can see the mic button and this one here gives you all the information for the camera, lens and all those good stuff. If you have internal flash or external flash, gives you all the information there. And this one here is the uh, gallery, like you can go into, go in and see all the pictures you have taken with your uh, phone uh, through the uh, DSLR dashboard apps. And here's all the settings you can do with the app and the phone here. Uh, if you want to keep your screen always on, you can do that. Use internal image viewer, full screen, all those good stuff is over here at the um, settings tab here. And to the uh, right hand corner, the camera I'm capturing right now is using the full frame mode. That's why it's called FX for Nikon and DXR for um, crop sensors, if you don't know what that means. And I'm using the raw, raw file mode. This is the image size. I have put it on medium on this phone here. And this is the ISO. And if you want to change the ISO, you can do it here. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I've put it on 100. I have put the white balance on auto and all these good, good stuff. And the focusing, if you wanna see how the focusing works, like if you have seen my other video, I, I show that on that too. If you wanna change the focus on the screen while it is recording or if before recording, you can just touch the screen and in, it refocuses. So you can see how it does that. And to the bottom part here, you can see all the camera uh, settings, I mean, the information from the camera, you, you can see I, uh, how much um, memory is left and the battery here and over to the left hand side you can see the um, exposure value, um, aperture, shutter speed and what focal, focal length my lens is using and this one here is the full screen mode. If you want to use that, that's how you can do that. So that's pretty much it. Like this one is for manual focusing. If you tap that, it'll focus all the way from you know infinity to whatever uh, focal length you have on your uh, lens. 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, this app, one thing I like about this app is like it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to use, uh, but I don't know what all cameras is uh, compatible for that. I mean for this app. So I'll leave a link on my blog post to the app page they have on the Google Play so you can go check that out but uh, I know most of the cameras like Nikon and uh, Canons and all those cameras work with this I'm using this app for my Nikon camera because uh, I know that Canon have one another called I think it's called DSLR controller or something like that but you just have to abide for three or four dollars I think or something something around that uh, amount from the Google Play Store and you can work uh, your Canon camera with that but most of the Nikon guys don't have an app like this. That's why I'm using, I mean, I'm doing this video because I have two camera, can, Nikon cameras and it works, both of them works fine with this. So um, I can say that uh, it works fine with Nikon cameras, right? So yeah, like I said, it's pretty much straightforward, pretty easy to use. Um, you just have to hook it up and all the controls are given to you on the screen and it's pretty straightforward. So let me know how you found this video. If it's helpful or not, give a thumbs up, subscribe. See you on next video. Bye.